Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Jessica's here. And good morning, parents. I hope that everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, I know I did. Um, we actually sat on the lawn in front of my house with all of my family in four corners and we talked and I finally got to see my grandbabies because um, I haven't seen them for the last few weeks. So I was glad to see them. I hope that you all had a safe and wonderful Mother's Day. This week we are talking about libraries and this would be in the week that we would go and visit the library, but the libraries aren't open right now. So we're going to talk about what a library is and what you can do in the library. Um, and Miss Jessica is going to put out her books and if you would like to come by and check out a book, um, you can do that. So it would be different books and you can take up to four um, books, but you have to sign out on them. Um, I'll have a pad that has a sign out sheet for you. You write down the book and your name and just bring them back when you're ready. Um, so I'm going to have a Miss Jessica Rough Dog Library um, that you can, all you have to do is ring the bell again and we'll push the bin out and you can go through and see what library books you would like to borrow from Miss Jessica. Um, and you're going to have to, you're going to need a library card. So in our packet, which this is what our packet looks like this, this time, when you pick up your packet, there's some special little things in here for you and a couple of lesson, um, that you can do. We didn't give you a lot because last week there was so much work to do. So we gave you a few things to do, but I'm hoping that you'll read lots and lots of books this week. That's what I would like you to do, um, is read some books, a lot of books. This is the library card that's inside your packet. And what I would like you to do is fill out your name on the library card so that you can check out a book from our um, Kid Time Library. So when you come to pick up your packet, if you would like to check out some books, you are more than welcome to do that. But please bring them back. So mom and dad will help you sign them out. Um, and uh, either one, and you can um, sign them out and make sure that you just bring them back. That's all I ask you to do. Okay, so how about good morning? Good morning, it's a good, 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 good morning. We say hello and how do you do to all my friends and parents too. Good morning, good morning, it's a good, 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 good morning. All right, so I'm going to get started with a story today. And I thought I would do one of our silly stories. So I think I'm going to do smelly socks because that was always one that you guys always asked for me to do. So I'm going to move my computer just a little bit so that you guys can see the pages better. Uh, moms and dads, this is one of our favorite stories to read. All right, so here we go. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river and get some really good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there is no bridge here, said Tina's mom. You know it is a long, long, long way to the only bridge. And besides, we don't have a car. What is Miss Jessica reading that's on the page that's telling her the story? Yep, the words are telling her the story. I am not making this up by just looking at the picture. So Tina went to her grandfather and said, Can you please take me across the river um, in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor is not working on my boat, said her grandfather. Row, said Tina, we can row. I will row and you can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said the grandfather. Yes, said Tina, rowing is easy. So Tina got in the boat and she rowed slowly, splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in a slow circle, swish, swish, swish. 
Then Tina rode fast, splash, 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 splash. And the bow went in fast circle, swish, 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 swish. This boat has forgotten how to row, said Tina. You sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina sat in the back and told her grandfather how to row. And her grandfather rowed all the way across the river. Then she, he walked um, all the way through the town to the big sock store. At the store, Tina tried on socks that were too big and socks that were too little and socks that were too blue and socks that were too pink. Tina tried on millions and millions of socks and finally she found a perfect pair of red, yellow and green socks. Then, since it was almost time for dinner, Tina and her grandfather ran back to the boat. And this time, the boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rowed round and round and round and still got to the other side. When they got back, Tina ran home and yelled, Socks, socks, wonderful socks. These are the best socks I have ever seen in my life. Uh, Grandpa rowed me all the way across the river to get these socks. I am never going to take them off. Never, said Tina's mother. Never, said Tina. Uh-oh, said Tina's mother. So Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. Her mother said, Tina, I know you love those socks. Just let me wash them really quick. They will start to smell if you don't get them washed. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, the kids at school said, Tina, what a smell. Change your socks. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, 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 never going to take them off. Then, after Tina wore her socks for 10 more days. Guys, that's 30 days. It's a whole month that Tina has worn those socks. Um, a whole flock of Canadian geese flew over her house and dropped right out of the sky from the smell. Two moose walked through her yard and fell from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, and squirrels fell over when she walked to school. Finally, even a skunk fell over from the smell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house and they knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and they carried her to the river. Then they held their noses and they took off her socks. Some of the kids held Tina and some of the kids washed the socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the fish in the river started to float up to the top and acted like they were dead. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and they went to live with Tina's grandfather. They washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, people said, how come the river smells like dirty socks? Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina. They look nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina. They smell nicer than they are clean. And wow, said Tina. They feel nicer when they are clean. Tina put on the socks and said, I am going to wear clean socks from now on. The beavers left her grandfather's house and went back into the river. The Canadian geese got up off of the ground and flew away. And the fish decided that they were not dead after all and they jumped and they splashed in the river. 
Tina went to her mom and said, my socks are nice and clean, and I think it would be very nice if you took me to town to get me a nice new red, yellow, and green shirt. Promise to wash it, said her mom. No, said Tina. If I wait long enough, the kids at school will wash it for me. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at her, D dirty shirt and dirty sh socks. So I guess she was right. The kids at school were washing it for her. The end. All right, so at the library, the biggest thing the library has is a lot of books. And we all love books. So I thought that we could do a few words that we can sound out phonetically. You know how we tell you the sound of the letters. And I'll write a couple of words up on the whiteboard so that you can help me read them. All right, so here we go. I am going to move this so you can see the whiteboard better. Miss Jessica is going to get her marker that she thought she saved. Oh, here it is. All right, so a couple of words that I know that you can help sound out. I am gonna start with one that starts with a C, A, T. So let's sound it out, you ready? Move it over because the light's shining on it. Okay. C A T. C A A T. What word is this? C A A T. Cat. You're right. It spells cat. C A T spells cat. All right. Let's try another one. Are you ready? H. A, T. All right, so H, A, T. Let's sound it out. H, A, at. H, A, at. Hat. hat. Yes, hat. So we've got C, A, T is cat. H, A, T is at. Let's try another one. Are you ready? I'm going to try to stump you this time. P A T. Let's sound it out. Ready? P A T. P A T. Pat. That's right. So we've got C A T. Hat. Pat. Pat. Oh, now let's see if we can get this one. I'm going to write it over here. Ready? B, B, A, T. Ready to sound it out? B, A, at. B, A, at. Bat. That's right. Bat. B, A, T. Cat, hat, pat. Bat. Ready for another one? You guys are reading these words. These are words you're reading. Let's try another one. Mmm. M. A. T. M. A. T. M. A. T. M. A. T. That's right. It is mat. Okay, I have one more I'm going to put down. Are you ready? I don't know. You guys are so smart. I know you are reading these words. So let's do this last one. Ready? S A T S A T S A T S A T S A T that's right, sat. So I'm gonna to point to them and I want you to tell me what this is. You're right, it's cat. 
You ready for the next one? Hat, that's right. You ready for this one? Pat, pat, right. Ready for this one? B at, bat, yep. How about this one? M at, right, mat. And the very last one, s, at. Cat, hat, pat, bat, mat, and sat. You just are putting a different sound to the beginning of at. So, when you see these words, you sound them out. And you could say cat, hat, pat, bat, mat, and sat. Wow, good job, guys. So, if you want to write these down and you want to tell mommy and daddy what they are and sound them out, that would be great. Because this is what you're starting to read. You are going to be doing simple words like this at school. And you're going to be reading these words. But I know some of you guys are already reading these words. So good job. Because reading is so much fun to do. And as you start reading all of your own books, oh my goodness, your world will open up. You will get to read so many things about so many great things. That's what's great about the library. You can go to the library and there are so many books for you to uh, uh, choose from. So when you get big enough and you get your own library card and it's not Kid Time Library but another library, you can go check out books and read all about the world because there's so many books out there that will tell you all kinds of new things that you never knew. And that's what learning is all about. Okay, I'm going to read one more story, and then we're going to do the calendar really fast, all right? So, I thought I'd read one more silly story, and I thought I would read Mud Puddle. All right, so, and I'm going to put all of these books out um, because I know that you guys love Robert Munch because he is just so silly, and he writes some pretty silly stories. Um, so I'm going to put all of our M Robert Munch books out, and maybe you can come and get one and have Mom and Dad read it. Okay, so here we go. Mud Puddle. Jewel Ann's mother bought her clean new clothes. Jewel Ann put on the clean new shirt and buttoned it up at the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she walked outside and sat down under the apple tree. Let's do this a little bit more. There we go. Um, unfortunately, hiding up in the apple tree, there was a mud puddle. It saw Jewel Ann sitting there and it jumped right on her head. Uh, she got completely all over muddy. Even her ears were full of mud. Ugh. Jewel Ann ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Her mother picked her up, took off all of her clothes, and dropped her into a tub of water. She scrubbed Jewel Ann till she was red all over. She washed her ears, she washed her eyes, and she even washed out her mouth. Jewel Ann put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. And then she looked out the back door. She couldn't see a mud puddle anywhere. So she walked outside and sat down in her sandbox. The sandbox was next to the house. And hiding up on top of the house, there was a mud puddle. It saw Jewel Ann sitting down there and it jumped right on her head. She got completely all over muddy. Even her nose was in, full of mud. Jewel Ann ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, the mud puddle jumped on me. Jewel Ann's mother picked her up, took off all of her clothes and dropped her into a tub of water. She scrubbed Jewel Ann till she was red all over. She washed out her ears and her eyes, her mouth, and even washed out her nose. 
Jewel Ann put on clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. And then she put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she had an idea. She reached way back into the closet and got a big yellow raincoat. She put it on and walked outside and there was no mud puddle anywhere. And she yelled, hey, mud puddle. Nothing happened. So she yelled even louder, hey, mud puddle. Jewel Ann was standing in the sunshine in her raincoat, getting very hot, and she pulled back her hood, and nothing happened. She took off her raincoat. As soon as she took off her coat, out from behind the doghouse, there came the mud puddle. It ran across the grass, and it jumped right on Jewel Ann's head. She got completely all over muddy. Jewel Ann ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Her mother picked her up and took off all of her clothes and dropped her into a tub full of water. She scrubbed Jewel Ann till she was red all over. She washed out her ears. She washed out her eyes. She washed out her mouth and she washed out her nose. She even washed out her belly button. Well, Jewel Ann put on clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she sat beside the back door because she was afraid to go outside. Then she had an idea. She reached up to the back of the sink and took a bar of smelly yellow soap and she gave it a smell. Yeah! She took another bar of smelly yellow soap and gave it a smell. Yuck! She put in, uh, the smelly yellow soap in her pockets and then she ran outside into the middle of the backyard and she yelled, Hey, mud puddle! The mud puddle jumped over the fence and ran right towards her. Jewel Ann threw a bar of soap right into the middle of her the puddle. The mud puddle stopped. Jewel Ann threw the other bar of soap right into the middle of the puddle. The mud puddle said, ooh, ick, yuck. It ran across the grass and it jumped over the fence and never came back. And Jewel Ann lived happily ever after. And I'll bet you Jewel Ann's mother is so glad that that mud puddle is gone because how many baths did she take? Three, three baths in one afternoon. That's way too much baths. Okay, so guys, we're going to do the calendar really quick before Miss Jessica closes. Like I said, I hope you had a great Mother's Day. I had so much fun seeing you guys on the Mother's Day tea. That was so fun, and you guys looked wonderful. Um, I love that Mommy's had on the hats, and that you guys, some of you guys got all dressed up. That was so great. Um, and I enjoyed just seeing your faces because I miss you always, I miss you. So I hope that you're still working really hard and getting ready for kindergarten. Um, and hopefully we'll get together soon and see each other. Um, if nothing else, you just give each other hugs and say have a great time in kindergarten. Because I know you guys are going to do a great job. You guys are doing great jobs here. All right, so let's get the calendar done so we know what day it is. This helps Miss Jessica know what day it is too because since we've been out of school, I, sometimes I forget what day it is. It's kind of sad. So let's catch up and see where we're at, okay? So I'm gonna move Miss Bree star because Miss Jessica is doing it. And what month is it? Mm, I, yeah. May, May, you're reading that word, it says May, M-A-Y spells May, that's right. Okay, so it is May, let's start counting. All right, so let's see, yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, that's right, today is Monday, so let's see what number it is today. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's right. And a one and a one make eleven. So today is Monday, May eleventh. What year is it? 2020. You're right. 2020. All right. So let's sing one of the songs. Let's do a days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job, guys. Okay, so guess what? Even over here of the days, the yesterday, today, and tomorrow, it's already up there. I can't believe it. It says yesterday was Sunday. And you're right. Yesterday was Sunday and Mother's Day. Today is what? Yell it out. Yeah. Monday. That's right. And tomorrow it will be? Tuesday. That's right. Tomorrow is Tuesday. All right. So I'm going to look outside my window. And do you know what I see today? I see blue sky, but I also see puffy clouds. So if you get a chance today to look outside, maybe you can look and see the clouds and you can see if you see something in the clouds. I'm going to look at a cloud right now and see if I see anything that looks like something. <gasps> there is a cloud outside that looks a little bit like a dinosaur head. So if I was laying and looking up at the clouds, I would say that that looks like a dinosaur head. So if you get a chance today, you go lay out on the grass in your backyard, maybe, and look up at the puffy clouds, and maybe you'll see something that looks like a dog or a cat or an owl. A lot of times you can see animals or people in the clouds. So maybe ask mom and dad to go look up at the clouds with you today because they're beautiful puffy clouds outside. So I'm going to put sunshine because it's sunshiny and it's daytime. And then I am also going to put, where's my clouds? Just clouds, not lightning, not, oh, there's those clouds. There's the puffy clouds. And I'm going to put them up here too. So today it is sunshiny and it has puffy clouds out that outside. And guess what? I just looked out over here too, and it's windy. So I am going to put the wind out too, because it is windy out. So it is sunshiny, puffy clouds, and windy today. All right, well, Miss Jessica's going to close right now. I'm going to close my uh, video, and um, hopefully that you will come by get a packet, and maybe check out a few books. Um, you'll have to ring the bell, though, because I can't put the books outside because then I'm afraid somebody besides you guys will come and take my books, and I don't want them to do that. But I'll put it in a big bin, and then I'll push it. Uh, when you come, I'll, we'll push the bin out. You can go through all of Miss Jessica's books, and you can take two to three. It's It depends. Um, how many you want to take. Just make sure you sign them out and then you bring them back to Miss Jessica. All right, so I would love for you to have a great day today. Maybe do a little puffy cloud reading. Um, maybe sound out some words with mom and dad. And when you check out some books, read some really good books because that's what the library is there for, to get and see the world through books. Books are amazing. They're always going to be in your life. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye, have a good day, and see you later.